Welcome. All right, so what I'd like to do is show you um, how to uh, solve the systems of equations uh, by graphing and then um, to go ahead and describe the solution. So let's go get right at it with uh, creating at least a x and y axis. All right, and just remember that this is going to represent our y axis and this is going to represent our x axis. So um, there's a lot, you know, a couple different ways we can go about this. Uh, for this one, I'm going to use kind of like a table method to graph the y equals negative 1 because I see that a lot of students have trouble graphing when we only have one variable. So the important thing to kind of understand when we're looking into, you know, how do we understand the y equals negative 1 as a line, as a graph, well, we look at, we say y equals negative 1. So that means y equals, is always going to equal negative 1. But when we're, when we're doing the table, you know, a lot of times we pick our independent variables, which is our x variable, that we choose which values we want to evaluate our function, uh, evaluate our equation for. So I can just do like negative 2, uh, 0, 1, and 2. Well, the, in this equation, the case y always equals negative 1. So to graph this, you can even look at this. Well, when, on, uh, when does y equal to negative 1 on the y-axis? So we go down to negative 1. And what we notice is for any value that I choose for x, y is always going to equal negative 1. doesn't matter if it's negative 2, y equals negative 1. If it's positive 1, y equals negative 1. Therefore, our set of points that's going to create a line is going to be a horizontal line where y equals negative 1. Now, for this example, I'm going to go ahead and graph this using um, I'm going to go ahead and graph this using slope-intercept form. So what I'll do here is I will subtract a 3x on both sides. And therefore, I have y equals negative 3x plus 5. Now, in graphing in slope-intercept form, I like to go ahead and create, uh, put, this in this, um, put my slope as a fraction. So now remember, slope-intercept form, we have this as y equals mx plus b, where b is going to represent our y-intercept. So I'm going to go up 5 units to represent where this line where this graph or line is going to cross the y-axis. So I go up to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can see that 0.5, that is where this equation is going to cross. Now I'm going to use the slope to find all the remaining points of my equation. So if you see, I wrote it as a fraction because remember when we're talking about slope, we have the change in y over the change of x or rise over run, which is commonly used. So that means I'm going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1. Since the 3 is negative, I'm going to go down in the, in the vertical direction. And 1 is positive, I'm going to go over 1 in the positive direction. You can also go up and to the left, which would also produce a uh, negative slope. But again, we're trying to find the system. Where are these two graphs going to cross? I'll do this one more time. 1, 2, 3, over 1. Then I'll try to do my best as creating. Uh, that's creating a straight line for these two. And then you can see the point of intersection is going to be over 2, down negative 1. So 2, negative 1. So since these two graphs cross at an intersection point, my solution is consistent. And since they only intersect at one point, it is an independent um, solution as well. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a system of equations by graphing with one solution. Thanks.